Hello everybody and welcome back. In this video, you're going to learn how to use barcode scanning in Glowfox. So barcode scanning is used to check people in who are not booked into a class but using your facility or to automatically check in and mark as attended people who are booked into classes these people will be automatically checked in if they scan their barcodes within an hour's start time of the class or a half hour after the start time of the class. So if the member scans in, in that one and a half hour window, the person will automatically be checked in for their class. So to get your Glowfox dashboard ready for barcode scanning, you're gonna click on the menu icon on the top right. Go to attendance. First thing that you will be doing is to turn on access logging and clicking on update. Then clicking on barcode scanner, clicking on allow the use of a barcode scanner. And if you want a sound to play when the person scans in, you can also turn that on and click on update. So turning these functions on will automatically generate a barcode on the person's profile from the phone number that they have saved onto their profile. You can assign them a different barcode as well if you have key fobs, for example. Please note, however, that the barcodes must be at least five digits long. So any barcodes that you order, again, must be at least five digits long. And you can assign the barcode on the person's profile. So the next time the person swipes the key fob, or swipes the barcode from their mobile app, they will be recognized by the system. And as you've learned, they will either go into the access tab or be automatically checked in for their class, as long as they check in within that window. Just a couple more things on barcode scanning. Glowfox does not provide a scanner, so you would have to order a scanner from a third party. We have a list of scanners that best work with Glowfox, and you could find that on our knowledge base, or ask one of the customer success managers or support staff. Once you get your scanner, you will want to make sure that you can install it with a USB or linked with a USB port onto the desktop that you are using at the front desk or reception of your studio. Once you install the hardware onto your desktop, you must be open and active on the Glowfox dashboard for the barcode scanner to recognize the barcode and register the barcode onto the Glowfox dashboard. If you are surfing around the internet or doing other work on the computer while people are scanning their barcodes, then the barcode scanner will read the barcode and write the barcode in whatever site you are working on or program you're working on. So make sure to be open and active on the Glowfox dashboard. Most studios just have a any laptop or desktop dedicated just for the barcode scanning. So ladies and gentlemen, that's how you use the barcode scanning. If you have any questions on or need help setting that up, make sure to contact your customer success manager or the support staff here. We'll see you on the next video.